Hello everybody and welcome to the Total War Official Channel. I will be your host today, Mr. Dogman, or CA Hoodie or whatever you decide to call me these days. And uh, by the way, if I am a bit loud or a bit quiet, please let me know. Um, I am going to be playing uh, the Osrogoths today. Um, as uh, you know, I'd be, I, I, I'd had a quick run through with the Eastern Roman Empire yesterday and I got quite far. The sound is met. Is the mic not loud enough or is it too quiet? Is that better? Please let me know. I'm moving it a little bit closer, so hopefully that is a bit better for you guys. Please let me know. <laughs> I'm like looking at the chat and like slightly moving the mic a bit closer and closer. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little bit better now. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Um, as at the end of the day, I'm sure the in-game stuff is much, Jesus, much better than, uh, than anything you hear from me. So yeah, we're going to be playing the Osrogoths today. Um, and... And the Osagoths, these are the guys who gave me so much trouble in my last campaign as Eastern Roman Empire. So I thought I would go for, uh, for these ones. You need game sound up now. I think if I turn it any louder, it kills me generally. There we go. Too loud. All right, well, I'm just going to get into it and I'm going to slowly just work and sound around it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to play as the Osrogoths this time, so I am going to be on my Grandary Horde right now. Um, my faction benefits are the Great Migrators, so I'm going to have... I'm going to have uh, Great Migration, so it's 25 growth uh, when initiating a migration or settling. And Inheritors of Rome, Known ability when occupying settlements with a Roman faction, and... Uh, also can recruit Roman units and settlements, which Roman military buildings. So, uh, with that, you got a kind of, with that kind of Inheritors of Rome kind of ability, you would really want to be focusing on attacking the Great Roman Empire. Or, well, as there are two of them, I might as well attack them. Uh, so we've got Eastern Roman Empire below us, and to the Far west, we have the Western Roman Empire. So I'm going to probably focus on, you know, kind of seeing if I can do better than the AI did yesterday in its destruction of uh, the Eastern Roman Empire, especially in Greece. So here are my first two armies: Warriors Tree Breakers of and the Ready for of orders. Wars. So I don't know. First of all, should we rename these uh, these armies? And if so, what should we rename the Tree Breakers to? Um, my faction leader. Here he Father is. Be praised. How can I help? How can he help? There you go. Victorus, sitting here as a high king, and he is leading the wolves of war. So let's see what I'm going to do. Uh, so first of all, I probably want to start attacking south. I'm going to get my research on the go. I want to focus on recruitment costs being lower. You can see my military tech here. Um, what I'm going for is I want this one here, military society, uh, minus upkeep by 10% for melee infantry. Really good, especially with a lot of the army I'm going to be having. Uh, Dogs of Dogger, that's a good name. Uh, I'm going to rename this army to that. Can't even spell my own name. There we go. I'll just talk to the dogs here. Yeah, there we go. Ready for so, starting off straight away, I've got my first bit of research there. I'm going to go for military Sorority quite early on. By the way, guys, don't forget this is the preview build. This is what we gave out to a lot of the YouTubers and press um, not so long ago. So, any of the previews you've seen would have been running on that. And that is an older build of the game. Uh, we're going to have, at 4 o'clock, uh, Simon Mann from the Attila team is going to be in here and he'll be telling you, well, he'll be to answer all your questions. So, guys, don't forget about that and keep your questions 
uh, ready for him. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully give you some uh, closure on your uh, questions. So let's get straight into my campaign. And uh, I am a migrate faction right now. I've got five popul uh, population surplus, so I can invest that into more buildings, or I could invest that into raising another army. Uh, or even a spy, which you know what, right now I could really go for. So. I could really do with uh, something to actually scout ahead. But I'm going to scout ahead with an army, because that's cool. I could fight this, but I think I'll just order a resolve in my way. First battle one. I think I'll sell. And because um, this is um, Sabrax, not my uh, king, so he, you know, I don't want to give him too many battlefield victories or it might start causing me some trouble with the family tree here. So, uh, where is he? He's actually, there he is. His, uh, his loyalty right now is quite high. Um, as you can see there, personal loyalty 7. Um, his influence is quite high and uh, age is quite good. But um, the more he gets, the more likely he is to cause me trouble in the late game. So I, I need to, you know, keep an eye on him every so often. And you can see here, um, these change sometimes, so you can never be sure what you're going to get. Sometimes you get very different stuff. Uh, and anyway, I'm going to put one into Wolf here to upgrade his uh, real attack, but really just to get started on the tech tree, and then one into Death Spoiler here. So. I get some more from raiding, and I plan to be raiding for quite a while. But you know, I think. Ready for orders. <laughs> well, we might as well get started the way we mean to continue. So that's payback. For any future trouble they give me. There you go. Turnover. Already destroyed one person's uh, city. Raised it to the ground. We do not have. The civilized graces, but we offer our words honestly from the heart. So I've been given a marriage for uh, one of my infraction guys. So personal authority, personal influence, that's pretty good. I think I'll have that. And that's with the uh, Visigoths to the south, and they're also attacking um, the Eastern Roman Empire there. I don't know if I can raise Constantinople unless I have siege equipment. I don't really have any right now, so I think that's going to be a difficult one to get. So yeah, guys, don't forget, we will have a, um, a developer in in about less than an hour, at 4 o'clock. Um, so about 40 minutes from now, uh, or less, and he'll be here to answer any of your questions about Total War Attila. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. So I'm just destroying as much territory as I can right now. Moving up my army here, and I'm, then I'm gonna put them into the new stance, which is encampment, and you can see it's here there. Enables a growth fang, makes it immune to desert attrition and immune to snow attrition, immune to swamp attrition as well. Um, plus 20 growth, uh, disables camp movement, and plus 50 from wealth from all buildings. That's really good. Very useful when you're on the move, it saves you a lot of money, and yeah, very, very useful. Ready for battle! Yeah, While I'm doing that, that's how I also can raise extra troops from doing that. Ooh, I just realized that's really not good. No food. Huh. Okay, we're stopping for a bit because I ain't got no food, so I could really do with that. Got to raise some units while I'm uh, on the move. Be quite useful. Oh. Skill. My my high king here. That is a good spell. I, 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 I could have built the alert. I could uh, 
more replenishment is very, very useful. And that's my wife, who's a priestess for my high king. Plus influence, public order, and religious influence. Let's say religion when governing. My king is governing. He is on the warpath. Yeah, there'll be a Q&A in about uh, less, uh, just more than 20, uh, 40 minutes. And you'll be able to get a lot of your questions answered, hopefully. Also, guys, do not forget, this is an older build. Uh, this is a preview build that we put out um, to press and YouTubers uh, a while ago. So this is not going to represent the full game completely. So keep that in mind. Everything is still in development right now. Sorry, I didn't just fall off my uh, seat. I was checking a few things. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, let's see. What's going on down here? To work, then. The Visigoths are just sitting outside of the... I, I could, you know, try and go over to Constantinople here. I mean... Father be praised. How can I help? It's very doable. These two cities are walled, so it makes it really difficult to actually attack them. Um, still got small, uh, no, small force, but definitely not as big as it could be. So I'm going to build a few more structures, I think. Um, could really do with some more food, so I'm going to do that. My, my population surplus is quite good right now, so... Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Are you ready? I am ready. You want me to go for, uh, <laughs> for the Eastern Roman Empire's capital? Or do you want me to go for Rome's capital? Do you want me to go for Rome or Constantinople here, guys? For Rome. Okay, okay. We're going to go for Rome then. More importantly, I don't really want to attack Constantinople, considering its walls are uh, uh, quite impressive. It's not an easy place to capture. Mm, I'm going to intervene on that one. Ready for don't orders. want my general getting too much power right now. On the move, lads. Move out. Ready for battle. So you can see I'm moving just a bit, not Starting too far, out. and then settling down. For the tribe. So I can Warriors keep growing all. slightly and also keep building up my forces. I'm moving. Come, fight for us, lads. I got ten turns. You know, I'm just going to delete you. Build fight with us. It's Go. a good life. Ready for That's battle. Yeah. Number eight. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Death in battle. There is no finer ending. So I'm going to keep moving forward here. I'm going to go for Rome. Just have to quickly see what Constantinople's up to. <laughs> right, okay, we're gonna go for Rome. And considering one of the abilities is the inheritors of Rome, it makes sense, I guess. You can see just there, that was the uh, emperor of the uh, Eastern Roman Empire down there. Kind of wanted to go and kill him. Kind of want to kill him, but at the same time, you know, I'll let him live for now. Declare war on the side of my allies. Yeah, I know I should have merged some units before deleting them. It's such a good point. Um, actually, in the, in, in the, the proper version, you can actually, there is an icon for merging units now, so it's really useful. Oh, 
Okay, so basically what happened there is... Oh no, it's not that bad. It wouldn't be much worse. His personal loyalty is okay, but it's not great. And seven's quite good, so... Yeah, it's, could, it could be much worse. Move out! That way is shut. We take this settlement for the tribe! I'm scared. Your warriors all. Warriors all. Get on our way. Thirsty for battle. On the move, lads. <laughs> There's something fun about just burning everyone's territory Father to the ground. Praised. How can I help? So you can see here, while I'm moving and settling down every too often, I can um, build in more buildings here. Um, especially for stuff I really need, so... Hmm. Right now Ready I don't really need anything that much, except for maybe some more food. Here I can get that and that'll give me a bit more of uh, I can build more units, that's very useful. So I'm going to go for that. You can see, um, as I progress, I can upgrade my units, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going through that, and then hopefully I can go for... What am I looking for? This one here, so I can replace my um, Germanic levies with uh, Germanic spearmen instead, which is really, really useful. And then later on I'll get the minus recruitment cross and melee infantry. Wait! Dogs of Dogbert can increase their... Uh, what might I want to go for? I'm going to be fighting the Romans, so let's increase. Actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to, going to go for both because I want that down there. It means I can get more of an army together. I know the Huns are kind of coming from like the further north, so I kind of um, from the northeast, so I kind of want to keep moving west anyway. Keep as far away from them as possible. Can you still use agents when you are a hoarding faction? Yes, you can. Um, as you can see here, as one of my agents, uh, my spy. So he's just uh, he, he's just messing a boot. So I'll send them to have a quick look at Constantinople. I'm going to bring them back to the rest of my army because I keep forgetting about them. Poor guy. Ooh, got to look at the garrison there for uh, Constantinople. Looks like it's uh, it's been involved in a bit of a fight. How can I assist? Heading out. I have a spy to the south now. Ready for battle. Can't really take any of these cities, so that's why every so often you're seeing me go in directions where I can avoid these cities. Yeah, you can see there's a recruitment for my spies if I needed another, and you know what, might as well. You got two spies on the field now. I could explain food, but I'm gonna actually wait until uh, Simon gets here and he'll be able to explain it to you much better than I am, as he is working on the game right now. I, I am one of the community coordinators uh, for Total War, and uh, yeah, I. My game will be Arena, uh, but uh, you know, I play a lot of Total War, so the chance to actually get to play for you guys, you know, I, I like it a lot. I mean, I play a lot of campaigns myself, I'm addicted to Total War, so it's, it's really good sometimes to be able first of all, show you how um, alright I can be sometimes, and uh, more importantly, get to show you what you really want to see, which is more and more of the campaign being played. Ready for orders. Who are these? Oh, Western Roman Empire. Hi, Western Roman Empire. For the tribe. Um, the Ostrogoths. Nice to meet you. Very well. Words have been wasted. 
Time will not be wasted in killing you all. Hmm. They have only brought in the Eastern Roman Empire, uh, which I think it's time to hmm. sack. Did I say sack? How many? Right. For the tribe. <laughs> For the tribe. Get moving. Warriors all. Starting out. Move out. So you can kind of see me making my way slowly to Rome. For orders. My High King once again, uh, and I think I'm putting it all into looting and raiding, plus minus upkeep to my armies. It's very useful. Can we try and keep the comments in chat to, towards the actual game and not anything outside of it, especially if it's political or religious, please? Don't really like having to throw the ban hammer around, but Will is merciless at times. You can liberate the AI quite a lot to just be a safe place to like regenerate a lot of your troops, especially in hordes and so on. And it's a valid tactic, and I've used it quite a bit. So you see I've upgraded one of my technologies, there, that one there, Roman logistic system. So now um, Germanic war bands replace Germanic bands, um, this unit here. So I'm upgrading it and you will see me uh, now create a different unit. Ready for battle. Thirsty for battle. How to work then? Yeah, the Romans have actually got an army. God be praised. Warriors Excitement all. at last. Get thirsty Moving. for battle. On the move, lads. Move keep out. my armies together, especially when the Romans actually have a force for once. Hmm. That's not a faction leader, is it? So yeah, guys, we're going to have a dev Q&A uh, in about half an hour. Um, I'm just going to keep playing through until then. So no need to go anywhere. Uh, keep your questions all warmed up and you'll be able to give it to uh, Simon Man when he comes on. So I'm just playing the Oscroffs right now as I am migrating towards Rome. Uh, Rome does have a unique battle map. For the tribe, getting on our way. Father, thirsty starting for out. battle. Getting on our way. Father, starting out. What would you? No, I can't. The shadows. Work then. Uh, when you liberate a nation, do they become a client state? Yes, I believe they do. I think they become a satrap if you are. Uh, you definitely do. I can't remember the name. A client state or it'll be something else. Not, not a satrap.
I, I will show that. I can't show too much of it simply because I haven't actually discovered uh, large portions of it. But uh, I can do this. So you can see where I am right now. There are my agents there, and one of my agents there. My two armies, full stacks. Uh, when I started, I went there, destroyed that, destroyed that, went here, destroyed that, destroyed that, and now I'm going to keep trying to go into Rome and see Rome back. There's the religious differences, and that's the fertility. supplies so I think I'll split my forces up a little here I feel quite comfortable I think my blitzkrieg tactics are working quite well father be praised how can I help uh, remember first of all just save here because I've had a, an issue on our preview build where merging units can cause a crunch warriors all Oh, I think it was disbanding units there we are, but no trouble this time. Ready for battle! So, end of an turn. I'm treating it to this guy. Tradition, there we go. Nothing crazy, that. You want to see a battle? Okay, I'll jump into a battle as soon as I get one. Uh, or as soon as I get the chance of have a, a quite a sizable one at least. I could go for that army there. I'm not particularly worried about smashing um, settlements, in fact, I'm quite enjoying it. I think that's a feature I really enjoy, burning settlements to the ground. Hmm. People are changing their religions. Ready for Losing orders. their religions, you might say. On the move, let the way blocks. <laughs> Right, well, I, I would love to attack the settlement, but first I would probably have to invest in siege towers. And it won't take me, it won't be a quick affair, so. Laying siege I'm to their siege to that settlement. Meanwhile, going to attack. I will in seek. Further into the settlement for the tribe! You guys want to see a battle, don't you? So, let's get into it then. I'm playing as uh, Ostrogoths right now. Um, I abandoned my campaign into. Uh... Can I get a bit of Oh no. Um, I abandoned my campaign in Greece to go for Rome, as everyone's been pushing me to do. So I'm on the march there. So, guys, also don't forget we have a QA in less than half an hour. And don't forget to put a follow onto the channel, and uh, we'll be able to let you know next time we. Uh, are doing the stream and um, hopefully we'll be able to play on a much more updated code uh, closer to launch which is 17th february if you don't know also don't forget if you pre-order now you can get yourselves the um viking forefathers which is a very interesting set of factions which um hopefully we get to do some sort of let's play or stream on in the near future because uh, they have some very unique play styles um, and faction traits 
which makes them, we'll you know, a lot of fun. I really do enjoy them. Um, it's people asking, like, which factions do you like to play the most? Um, and, yeah, I found myself Orders. playing an awful large amount of the uh, Viking profile factions. I don't know, there's just something about the, the look and style just speaks to me. So, this is the battle map, this is where we're going to be attacking. See a little fortified centre here. So, yeah, we go hit it straight on here. Ugh, straight in the middle. Go. So good. Missile warriors. Lord, give us strength. Flaming Our arrows are going to have to be used. We stand against the 